Thanks for joining us in the garden today. We are here with Craig from Grange Co-op. We are talking about fertilizer, something that people should be keeping in mind this time of the year, get their grass green. You want to have the best lawn on the street. This is how you do it. Yeah, absolutely. This is the time of year when, you know, your your landscapes are really starting to grow. We've got that nice sun that's starting to come out and the temperatures are starting to rise and, and maybe more importantly, your soil temperatures are really starting to rise this time of year. And that's that that really is kind of a key as your, your lawn starts to grow. This uh, is the really the time that you really need to go out, get some fertilizer on that lawn, give it the nutrients it needs, kind of get that nice green lush um, feel to it, that, that nice color to it. Um, and also it, it's one that's specifically designed for your lawn grasses. So it's one that is going to kind of um, help not feed your, your weeds so much, but really feed your grasses. Okay, so what's special about this blend that we have right here? So this is a slower release fertilizer. So it is, it is when you put it on, not all of the fertilizer immediate releases. So you don't have to do it as often. You can put it on. It does have fertilizer that is going to immediately uh, go into the lawn. But over time, more of this will release. It has a kind of a coating on some of it so that it slowly releases over time. So you're not, it's not kind of a boom and bust cycle. You don't have to go out and, and put this on, you know, every couple weeks. It's going to be something you put it on, you know, uh, go another maybe maybe six, eight weeks be between your uh, between your applications because it does have kind of that longer rate. The other thing is it is specifically designed for lawns. You don't really want to use an all purpose uh, fertilizer on a lawn because the your weeds, your broadleaf weeds in your lawn uh, prefer to have more of a, a phosphorus in their fertilizer, which is one of the kind of the main three components of a fertilizer. Lawns don't need hardly any uh, phosphorus at all. And so a lawn fertilizer specifically blended so it has a lot of nitrogen, hardly any, sometimes even no phosphorus at all. Whereas a lot of times a, a weed in your lawn would like something that's more evenly distributed amongst those two. So if you use a fertilizer that's all purpose, you're kind of helping your weeds out. Whereas if you use one that's specifically designed for your lawn with all that extra nitrogen, not very much phosphorus, that's really gonna help feed your lawn and not give your weeds what they're looking for to grow. And obviously this time of the year, people are playing outside more kids, pets, maybe having an outside barbecue. So is this something that you kind of want to be mindful of who's going to be in the lawn and when? Yeah, as with anything, you really don't want your, uh, and I literally say this with everything, your kids, your pets out when you're doing it. Not that this is a, a really going to be a problem with this particular product, but as a general rule, you want to make sure you get it on, water it in well um, before you're letting your pets, your pets, your, your kids out on the lawn. Um, that being said, this is not a product that's going to be, um, not going to have much of any problem with. It's just a general rule you want to kind of be doing that when you're applying really anything. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about fertilizer or pick up this product, head to a Grange Co-op store near you. They can help you out with all of your lawn needs this summer. We'll see you next time in the garden.